I said I'ma crush it. Call me the gold. Welcome to Unsung, your nonprofit news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this episode, we move inside to an exciting new space in Pittsburgh. Not a club or a restaurant, but a community space devoted to giving residents access to computers and the internet. We're at the Hilltop Computer Center, a part of the Pittsburgh Connects program. But we'll get to that story in just a moment. We also have a special report later in the program on reclaiming vacant lots from GTEC. But first, Let's take a look at what's happening with our area nonprofits. Public Source, a nonprofit public service website that will take the complex questions facing the region and put them in context and shine a light on parts of the story that may not have been told elsewhere, launched on November 6th. Their first report, the Marcellus Shale drilling boom, comes to campuses, was a collaboration with the Allegheny Front and the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Bookmark publicsource.org and look for more investigative articles on issues in our region. Also, our partners at Public Source shared a special report with Pittsburgh on video on the single sex classroom experiment in the historic Westinghouse High School in Pittsburgh. Here's the story through the students' eyes. I was nervous because I just thought it was going to be a lot of drama and I wouldn't be able to learn and, you know, they were going to be so strict on us like we wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, the first few weeks was kind of rough because of our schedules. They were, like, mixed up and everything, and so we was trying to get settled. But then it got, you know, good over time, and it just took a little time to get used to the whole fact that, you know, that it wasn't going to be the same, like it was going to be different here. I think it's actually a good thing that we're educated just with girls because boys are a distraction. They're distracting to me, and I wouldn't be able to get my work done. But since we have all females, there's nobody to, like, oh, just talk to, flirt with or anything, focused on our work. And, you know, even though there is drama, we just know when to stop and do our work. These people are my family, like the principals and stuff. I feel so comfortable here. You know, they're the ones that keep me on track when I'm not focused. Some classes, I think we should have girls because it makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, not having girls is just weird. This is like a perfect school, but all the kids, they just don't know how to handle themselves. And that's really all the media and we're trying to say. We're not going to get through life because we're young black males and we don't know how to act in that we can't learn as much as others. When I first heard of the Single Gender Academy at Westinghouse, I was kind of a little skeptical about it. I didn't really think that it was going to work out, but my dad said, don't knock it before you try it. I knew there was going to be a lot of like drama because naturally we're going to talk, we're going to get louder. Some girls are like really disrespectful, so it's hard for like teachers to teach. That's what I'm experiencing now. The students have a lot of energy. Um, many of the students have real passion to succeed. It's just that a lot of them, you know, they're having a hard time navigating through, you know, making their decision making. I mean, that's, that's what all life comes down to, the choices that you make. So what we're really trying to do is just help students make the choices that will lead them to the most successful lives. The Heinz Endowments and the Pittsburgh Foundation announced a new program for artists titled Investing in Professional Artists, the Pittsburgh Region Artist Program. The program provides resources to professional artists for the breadth of the creative process, from concept to completion. While the program does not require presentation of a fully realized work, it challenges artists to seek to produce the artworks that will define our times our region and our lives. Guidelines and application instructions are available at pittsburghfoundation.org slash region underscore artists underscore program. We're excited to welcome back Melissa Carey as she gives us the inside scoop from the recent Pittsburgh Connects grand opening event. 
So what we're doing here today, we're going to open up the world to a young person that might never get a chance to step outside their neighborhood. We're going to show them the world through this technology. We're going to give them access to learning tools uh, to help them compete in this economy. Uh, we're going to give them information so that they can live healthier lifestyles. Uh, I even see there's, uh, I was looking at this month's uh, agenda, there's even going to be Thanksgiving recipes in there. And all four centers are unique, by the way. If you go into the four different centers, they've all come up with different and creative ideas on how to do it. Some are a cafe setting, some is more traditional uh, computer labs. Uh, everyone's put their own touches on it. And it's computer ABCs for adults. I stress that it's for adults because... Uh, Adults want to hear that, oh, it's ABCs, like it's step by step. And uh, like I said, I go over every, every single thing that I do, I explain to them. I don't make a click without explaining what I do. And that puts everybody at ease because they don't feel like I'm racing ahead of them. They don't feel like I know so much more. And I always tell them, kids aren't smarter nowadays. They didn't suddenly jump in IQ over the last 20 years. But these kids know technology because they know the small, simple steps to figure it out. And if you can figure out a Game Boy, you can figure out Twitter, you can figure out Facebook. You can figure out any application on a computer. Mike had started with a group of us upstairs who live here. And uh, he has been terrific. Uh, he started us with the basics of the computer, which was very nice. And he's very patient. Everybody has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then they started up with computer classes with Michael. Great, great, great. I knew some things about the computer, but I was rusty. Uh -huh. So he's helping me learn everything. I come to do job search. So I come and I look for a job on their Craigslist and I use their computers. And sometimes I'll take a class. If they're having a class during the day, I'll take a class. I come here uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, Tuesday is the PNC Partner Program. And what it is, it, uh, you learn how to do interviews and uh, they set you up to, for a career in PNC. On uh, Thursdays, we do UPMC uh, workshop. It's like the same thing, but it's uh, you're guaranteed to uh, get a job in the healthcare business. And I also do uh, job searches and everything on the computer. And I enjoy coming here. It's a, a great opportunity, so it teaches me a lot. A lot of resume building, they're using Google Voice now because you can have free voicemail and free phone calls through things like that. They don't even know about like document storage, Google Docs, they love the idea of sharing photos with family members online. And uh, a lot of, some of them are starting their own small businesses too. The, there's someone who come in here, we're trying to encourage them that they have carpentry skills to try to solicit things using Craigslist, putting ads up like that. So we're just kind of, I'm encouraging them to think differently about how they could work and how they could use technology because no one ever told them that they could use it for all these different things. And I encourage people to come down and have a look for themselves and just actually look for jobs because it does help you. The staff is great here. They help you with everything that you need. Instead of trying to get someone an entry-level job over and over and over, if they're not having luck with that, we're trying to focus on things like entrepreneurship, starting their own business, emphasizing their own skills so they can actually work for themselves. No matter how much or how little you know, you can learn something from the ABCs class. There's people that, I've, we have a volunteer who works at Oracle, and sometimes he'll sit in the class just to play around with me, and he'll be like, oh, like, I like the way you explain that. To, because even someone who knows a lot about computers doesn't think about it in the most simple terms sometimes. This economy is tougher than ever. It may have been when many of us my age were kids that you could get by if you fell through the cracks and didn't get an education or learn a skill. There was still work you could do and support yourself. Those days are gone. Uh, they don't exist anymore. Now we have to make sure our kids have access to the same types of tools and technology that people who grow up under much more favorable circumstances have if they're going to be able to compete in this world. That's why centers like this are so important. Uh, that's why it's so important to me that, make, that, that communities that don't have a voice get a voice through programs like this. In the video spotlight this week is GTEC kicking off the series you will see on Unsung and Pittsburgh on Video reclaiming vacant lots in our urban areas. Stay tuned for future episodes that will feature the recent Love Your Block projects. Thanks to the Hitachi Foundation for providing this video. Living in Pittsburgh, it's hard not to be impressed by the amount of vacant and blighted land in the city. 
Just along this strip of the street that we're on, there's over a hundred parcels of vacant land, this being one of them. This is an example of the kinds of things that can happen on vacant land, and this is an example of a site that we've helped reclaim. But it's very, very difficult to start from a vacant lot and end with a community garden. One of the big things that GTEC does is to cultivate sunflowers so that we can transition vacant space into community assets. Property adjacent to green space increases in value up to 20%, whereas property adjacent to unmanaged vacant land decreases by 20%. When we have a small success in the form of sunflowers on a vacant lot, that starts building a critical mass momentum for people to figure out how to utilize the resources that are around us in a more thoughtful, intentional, and efficient way. Community development doesn't have to be just bricks and mortar. There's the opportunity for a community to get engaged and do development through greening. And the green economy is really the next step, and the opportunities to revitalize our cities will really come through that. So what we're trying to do is capture those markets as they emerge to help the people that are in these communities get jobs, to rebuild their communities communities. Every child will hold a family fun day and resource fair at Pittsburgh Obama School across from Bakery Square in East Liberty on Saturday, November 26th from 12 to 4 p.m. The event honors National Family Week and every child will provide resource information to parents and guardians, demonstrations as well as hip hop line dancing, a magician, balloon art, and a bouncy castle. All our activities are free. More information is available at everychildinc.org. Have you seen Tom Cruise about town? That is just one part of Pittsburgh's Hollywood connection. Are you a budding screenwriter? The Steeltown 2012 Film Factory competition is now open. Submit your 12-page script before December 31st for the chance to be mentored by Hollywood's top players and win up to $30,000 to make your short film in Pittsburgh. Get the information and guidelines at steeltownfilmfactory.org. The life of Pittsburgher and internationally acclaimed jazz musician Billy Strayhorn is celebrated with Sweet Life, a Billy Strayhorn birthday bash on Saturday, November 26th at 8 p.m. Enjoy selections of Strayhorn's music, including big hits and rarely heard gems, all performed by legendary Pittsburgh jazz drummer Roger Humphreys and an ensemble of the city's hottest jazz musicians and vocalists. The evening also features a special spoken word performance by Leslie Ezra Smith, radio personality, president, and founder of the Pittsburgh Jazz Society, Tony Moed, will be on hand to emcee this celebration of the enduring legacy of jazz music and culture in Pittsburgh. Tickets are $25 and are available from the Kelly Strayhorn Theater at kelly-strayhorn.org. We hear it unsung from the host, the cameraman, our on-location correspondent want to wish our unsung teammate, Christopher Whitlash, a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chris. Do you have a resolution for Pittsburgh in 2012? Share it on video and load it to pittsburghonvideo.org with the tag Pittsburgh Resolution by December 10th. And be sure to watch for it in the holiday episode. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'ma crush it Call me the golden boy Cause it shine whenever I touch it Don't rush it The flow comes naturally Actually The whole hood after me Masterpiece I out in a pace car Any dudes fucking mad Cause they can't even find a day job I stay hard with or without Viagra And I said the flow crush Like the force of Niagara I'm after a major label budget But since I'm